Good morning, everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Almost 400 people, 394 to be exact, reported feeling an earthquake there in Berkeley. This was smack dab right along the Hayward Fault, one of the most dangerous fault lines there in uh, the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area, California. It was a magnitude 2.7 with a depth of 9.2 kilometers, which is about 5.2 miles below sea level. All earthquakes are measured from sea level. This earthquake occurred at 6.32 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. Here you can see the monitor as the earthquake came in. Using Google Earth, here is the location of that earthquake. Here is the fault line, part of the fault line of the uh, Hayward Fault. And it's near the uh, University of Berkeley where this earthquake occurred. Let me bring it in for you. This fault line is 52 miles long. And this fault zone uh, travels from San Pablo Bay to uh, a little east of San Jose. The stadium here was retrofitted, um, but because of the slow creep of the fault line, yeah, there is a lot of signs of earthquake damage uh, to this stadium. Earthquakes.berkeley.ed has a document about this fault line and how it runs underneath the stadium and other parts of Berkeley. Here you can see the Hayward Fault that crosses the stadium and its surroundings along the yellow line. The orange arrows, it says, indicate the right lateral character of the fault movement. Evidently, when they built the stadium in the early 1920s, they were well aware of the fault's location. Um, earlier pictures of this area, there used to be a house up here, um, but it probably was having structural damage because of the hill. Let me bring this around. There we go. Yeah, it's no longer there. They got a road here still. I guess it goes up to this other house. But I believe there used to be a house um, somewhere a little bit closer right in this area. Moving Google Earth, here's the location of that 2.7. You can see it's right along the side of this hill here. Oh, yeah, it went a little bit too close. And looking at it from another direction, and we'll zoom out to the, the fault line. There's right there. USGS has a moment tensor ball. The initial P wave, the first wave of the earthquake, came in from the north. Tension was applied going west. We can see a dipping of the fault line. The fault line dropped down and moved slightly towards the east. Here is some of the felt reports. It was reported in San Francisco. Um, Pacifica, California, said they felt it. San Leandro. And, yeah, San Pablo uh, Wildlife Area. San Rafael. The Oakland area had 115 reports. Oh, what have we got here? We'll click on some of these other ones. One report from Pacifica, Walnut Creek, too. Uh, I'm not sure where that one's at. Oh, Concord. Yeah, it looks like most of the reports came from um, Oakland. This earthquake could have been a little bit stronger. Here we got 3.01. Farther away that the monitors are located, the smaller the earthquake would be reported. 2.90, 2.80. Um, yeah, see that one's like a 0 0.80. Uh, what else we got? 3.03, 2.99. But they decided on a 2.7. And these are all automatic by the computer. They think that if and when they have a major earthquake in this area, magnitude 7 or greater, a lot of people are going to die. Um, I hope people are prepared, especially for what they call soft 
structures. And that would be um, buildings that would have um, garages underneath. Um, they should be retrofitted, but a lot of them haven't done that. If you are in a two-story structure and you're in bed when the earthquake occurs, I always tell people, get your butt out of the bed in case the ceiling collapses on top of the bed. Get on the floor next to the bed. That way um, the bed would give you maybe a little pocket to survive. Um, yeah, see here we got soft structures right here. You can tell just by looking at it. And then put a pillow, of course, on the back of your head and neck. Did you feel this earthquake? If so, put it down below. How long did it last? I imagine a lot of people were sleeping at the time. Um, what did it sound like? Um, please put it down below. Please be prepared for a disaster. This is just an indication that pressure is building. Tension has built. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.